everyone it's Jess from Stellar Tarot and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do kind of a fun sort of opposite sort of video to what I've been doing over the last uh, couple of weeks or so. You will have noticed that January started off with uh, me showing you my tarot and oracle deck collections and then it pretty quickly turned into me decluttering my life and uh, decluttering my tarot decks and my witchy objects. And I'm aware that not everybody is in the whole minimalism type of mindset. Not everybody has to uh, reduce what they own in order to accommodate, you know, a big change in their lifestyle. Some of you may be more towards the beginning of your, uh, shall we say, witchy careers, and you may be more in the mood to acquire some things. So I thought that I would share with you some of my top 10 witchy items that you can actually get on Amazon. Now, I know that not everybody loves Amazon, and I absolutely understand and respect that if you are one of those people who does. The reason that I wanted to showcase uh, Amazon in particular is that it is a website that is so accessible to so many countries. A lot of you may already have Amazon Prime subscriptions in order to access some of the TV shows that are there on their streaming service. And it may be a website that you buy from because it's the only place that you can find some of the essentials of life or things that you just really love. As far as I can tell, Amazon is making efforts to uh, make their business better and they are uh, beginning to bring in some better working conditions for their employees. I know that that is a sore spot with a lot of people and if that's a sore spot with you and you don't really like Amazon, then this is not the video for you. Um, don't hate on me for buying where I buy. Please remember that I live in Canada, not the United States. So we do not always have access to some of the products in stores that a lot of Americans and even a lot of Europeans are able to access really easily. Sometimes we have to uh, go to some greater lengths to acquire things. And that's really why I wanted to highlight Amazon because it is so accessible to so many people in different countries. So this is uh, where I'm go uh, what I'm gonna all I'm gonna say about Amazon. Um, if you don't like Amazon, that's fine. I don't need to have a, a hate on on the company down in the comments, okay? Um, everybody makes their own choices and that's a personal thing and I, I don't need uh, the people who watch my channel to be preached at uh, by other people. So, now that we've said that little disclaimer, I'm going to move on. This is just a quick reminder that if you have been wanting to get a New Year's reading from me, you have until the end of January to purchase one from me. After that, they will go away. Also, for those of you who are really trying to get into the Imbolg spirit, I do have a Bridges Forge reading that is available in my shop. And I also have the Messages from the Morrigan reading available, which is much more in tune to those of you who work with darker goddesses. Uh, if you work with a different goddess other than the Morrigan, you can let me know in the notes to seller and you can go ahead and you know request that it be from your specific uh, deity at that time. So without any further ado, let's talk about some of the products that I have here. Let's start with the one that is the most obvious, and that is this beautiful color changing uh, pink uh, moon that we have here. And this is a color changing moon lamp. Uh, it comes with a remote so that you can change it to many different colors. Watch me, of course, not be able to change it now. There we go. So you can manually change it to a dozen different colors if you like. The actual outside of it is um, like a pink. Uh, there are versions of this that um, come that they don't actually have uh, the pink on it. It's more realistic looking. Um, this is the one that I personally chose. It is... Um, yeah, a little bit more uh, 
I think it's pleasing to the eye because it does have all the different color changes. Usually when I have it on, I just have it on white. Uh, that's my personal preference. Um, but I thought I would showcase all the different colors that it can, uh, you know, fade and in and out to from here. And the nice thing is this doesn't run on um, like a battery that you have to change. This is chargeable. It comes with a USB charging cord and you just plug it into one of your USB um, uh, like uh, outlet ports and then there's a plug in the bottom of the globe and you just pop it in for a couple of hours until it's fully charged and away you go. The next thing that I wanted to talk about is this big thing here in the back. This is actually a yoga bolster and I found this particular one on Amazon for roughly half the cost that uh, they tend to go from companies like Half Moon and Manduka and other things like that. Um, I really like to do yin yoga when I um, have my menstrual cycle and I find that my back and my legs tend to cramp the most, not necessarily my abdomen. So when that happens, I will lay with my spine on top of the, the bolster all along the length of it there. And then I will lay with my feet in the butterfly lotus position. So that's um, the bottoms of the feet together, letting the legs splay out to either side. I let the shoulders roll back away from my chest and I just let my head rest on the cushion, close my eyes and do some deep breathing for a while. This really helps to stretch out uh, the inner thighs, the groin muscles. It helps to stretch the back and the shoulders roll open. It's very much, um, and doing like the opposite sorts of movements to what we do during most of our work days where we tend to be hunched over facing forward or you know rounding our spines forward this really helps to counteract all of that and i find it's a really wonderful releasing stretch to do whether it's at the end of the day or just um you know uh, for the sake of doing yin yoga it's really really lovely um, the next thing that I wanted to talk about were these tea lights. Now, tea light candles might seem like a bit of a um, scratch your head, question mark, why buy it specifically on Amazon kind of thing. However, I have noticed recently when I have been purchasing my tea light candles in like big box stores and stuff and just getting the really big hundred pack that I normally did, that I was finding that I would, you know, burn it for a little while, blow it out, and then when I would go to relight the candle, it would just tunnel down in the middle, and then there'd be all this unburnt wax in the tea light. It was very difficult to get them to last for more than a couple of uses before they basically had to be thrown away, and it felt really wasteful. So what I did is I started doing some research on the internets as you do and I discovered that um, there were some brands of tea lights that were better quality than the ones that I were per that I was purchasing and one of them said that it was available on Amazon and it was an Amazon Prime product and that was this one by H Hula Candles I don't know they say they burned for at least four hours. Um, that's if you light it and burn it start to finish. I uh, definitely right around uh, the four to five hour mark. Uh, a couple of them have even lasted closer to six hours. Um, but I find that they re-burn really well too. So if you light them for a while, blow them out, you come back, you can relight them and you're not getting nearly as much waste of wax as um, I was getting before. So I do recommend this specific brand of tea lights. Uh, it was also a good price for the money. I can't remember how much it was at the time that I'm filming this, but it, it, wasn't, it wasn't ridiculous. The next thing I thought I would mention is something that is rather obvious, but again, to some people who may just kind of be entering the adult world and just starting to purchase online, you may not know this, but Amazon carries a very wide variety of tarot and Oracle and Lenormand decks for sale. Now I will say that if you're looking for indie decks, Amazon is not the place to be shopping for them. However, if you do know that the publisher is um, a really big one like Llewellyn, US Games, Los Scarabio, 
um, connections. I'm trying to think of some other big ones, but it's failing me at the moment. Uh, there is a good chance that you may be able to find the decks on Amazon. Um, it's also very handy to check out the used versions of some of these decks as well. Often you can get a good deal on used decks that are in um, good or very good or even excellent condition that is cheaper than the uh, Amazon brand new listed price. A lot of the times these will be from um, either the Amazon warehouse deal, so these are items that were returned, so they're out of the original packaging, all the cellophane's been taken off, but maybe say somebody flipped through the deck, realized it wasn't for them, and then returned it. Um, sometimes it may be from Amazon third-party sellers, in which case you may want to just take a look at some of the feedback that these third-party sellers have received just to make sure that you are going to be purchasing a used deck from a reputable seller. You want to make sure it's not going to be from someone who's going to steal your money and run away laughing. Um, but for the most part, if they're really well-known third-party sellers, then uh, it should not be a difficult thing to do at all. So yeah, I thought I would mention that decks are definitely available on Amazon. The next item that we have over here are a 15 watt light bulbs. And some of you may be wondering, why am I talking about light bulbs for witchy things? And uh, I, will, I will tell you my friends, it is for Himalayan salt lamps, selenite lamps, amethyst lamps, even um, like Scentsy lamps and um, uh, like the, the plug-in versions of like wax warmers. These are really great for uh, putting into any of them. I get these light bulbs both for my uh, wall plug-in small, um, like the, sorry, the outlet versions of like a Scentsy warmer. Um, and also for my Himalayan salt lamps and, and things like that. These types of light bulbs are notoriously difficult to find in stores and they can also at times be expensive if you purchase them in larger stores. Uh, and you may only be able to find them in like a two pack or things like that. And while this one in particular is part of a two pack here, um, I actually bought it in a boxed a thing from Amazon that contained, I think it was 12 bulbs altogether. So a much better deal that way. They were much more economical and um, they were really easy to, to use and they've worked just fine. So yeah, I did want to mention um, that you can get the 15 watt light bulbs on Amazon. The next two things that you see here are, um, this is a amber roller ball, uh, that way it came empty that you can put your own uh, incense oil blends in. And then also these little glass bottles with the cork lids. Now, a lot of the times you can go to like witchy shops and you can find these um, in, uh, you know, buy them single for a couple of bucks a piece and things like that. Same with the empty roller balls. However, if you are someone who makes a lot of essential oil blends yourself, you may want to look at purchasing them in uh, larger quantities at a time. And these roller balls and empty glass vials are very easy to find on Amazon. They're also easy to find at other places like craft stores a lot of the time. So if you have been kind of keeping your eye out for things like that and wanting to buy them in larger quantities than singles, uh, that's a great place to check them out. Uh, the next thing that you can find are some harder to find uh, statues and statuettes. Now, personally, when it comes to like some of the things like statues and stuff like that, I do often like to see them in person first so I can get a sense of sizing and stuff like that. However, sometimes um, it can be hard to find specific deities in person in stores. And I find that sometimes some of the online witchy stores often inflate the prices of these statues, which are very much mass produced to really um, a large extents. Amazon can be a great place to find some of the ones that are harder to find. And it can be a good place to um, find ones of different finish, especially if you're trying to collect a certain a set from pantheons and things like that and you can find them in one finish but not in another etc etc it can be really helpful to uh, go on Amazon and start searching there 
I'm not saying it's the only place that you should look for your statues, but I am saying that it is an option, especially if you've exhausted a lot of others and you've kind of been running out of ideas of where to look. Uh, the next thing that I thought I would showcase is a cauldron. Now, I uh, this is a cast iron one, very heavy, has a lid and has the handle. Um, a lot of the times I have found when I have gone um, into witchy stores, they do have cauldrons. But a lot of the times I find that they are much larger. And I really wanted a nice small lidded cauldron. I had a small cauldron before, actually I still have it, um, and it did not have a lid. And I really wanted one that I could put a lid on, especially if I wanted to smother a burning incense or a burning charcoal briquette really quickly. Um, and I wanted to be able to put a lid like if I was burning paper and it, maybe the fire was getting a little bit bigger than I would have personally felt comfortable having um, inside my home. So the lid is a really great option. I also feel like it's a really good option when you want to like put something in and burn it and then you literally want to feel like you can put the lid on it. Close it forever. You don't have to deal with it. Um, this can be a really great um, action to put, like to incorporate into ritual or spell work when you want to have a finality to something, when you want to close something out or even banish a person's ability to keep like say, uh, speaking badly about you or things like that. You can metaphorically put the lid on it with the cauldron in order to uh, influence a more uh, tangible putting a lid on something. So yeah, I do really love this lidded cauldron and I'm glad that it's small enough that it doesn't take a huge amount of space on my altar. I've just found that personally around me, a lot of the cauldrons, they might be the right size, but they didn't have a lid or they were they did have a lid, but they were too big for what I was looking for. So it was nice to be able to shop a variety of options online. And the nice thing about Amazon is if you're buying from Amazon itself, you don't have to worry about paying an exorbitant amount for the shipping because of how heavy this particular item is. If you are buying directly from Amazon themselves, if it's over that certain dollar value for your country, it will ship free your order. So that was nice to not have to worry about paying for shipping weight from an independent supplier and really having to pay out the nose for it. And the last item that I have here is an eye mask from Half Moon. I, this is a lavender filled, I believe it's lavender and buckwheat. It's a really lovely eye mask. This does have a removable cover so that you can wash the cover and just, um, you know, to keep things like clean and sanitary. It's really great to throw in your yoga bag uh, to use during Shavasana if you are a yogi. And it's really great to use uh, inside at your house when you are doing like uh, lying down meditations or shamanic journeys or other sorts of things like that. You can put them in the fridge uh, if you want to kind of place on your eyes or on your forehead if you're having headaches uh, or if you're just wanting to kind of cool yourself down, especially like if you've done a really intense ritual or meditation and you're finding yourself having a hard time uh, coming back down to earth, uh, placing a different temperature uh, item on more sensitive areas of your body, like your forehead, can really help to kind of bring you back into your body. So I have found at times that um, throwing this in the freezer for 15 minutes and then putting it on my forehead after has really helped me with grounding after I've been just still feeling like I'm flying high from ritual. So that's it for today, guys. This is my 10 witchy items that you can get um, from Amazon. Um, I did include a yoga bolster in here just because I know a lot of witches do really love to use yoga as one of their, um, you know, spiritual practices. And I did feel like it's important to kind of mention um, you know, the connection between your spiritual practice as well as your physical practice really having a big impact. Uh, doing Shavasana or Yin Yoga can really be a form of meditation and dedication. It can be a type of sacrifice or um, honorific action that you take for a deity or even just for yourself. And so I did want to mention that um, here as well because I do find that sometimes the two activities are a little more related than we may first believe. 
So thank you so much for watching today, guys. If you have any favorite items that you like to get from Amazon, then I would love it if you would put your suggestions in the comments below. Let other people know your little hidden witchy gems from Amazon. And until next time, guys, be wise, be brave, and be magical. Bye.